All right, folks. Uh, we do have a giveaway going on right now for uh, two copies of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Details on that are down in the description or down in the pinned comment or both. Probably both. Uh, but what you're looking at here is a Nintendo hiring page. And uh, I was going to squeeze this in to tomorrow's Prime News. But I decided to do this on its own because it's kind of interesting. Uh, we've had a very interesting time uh, when it comes to Nintendo. See, we have not had a standard Nintendo Direct. Like a big boy, fat, full-blown Nintendo Direct since September of 2019. And last year, we did have one official Nintendo Direct Mini. Otherwise, we've had a couple game directs. We had the 35th Mario Anniversary Direct. And then, obviously, uh, we had some partner showcases that were sometimes called Nintendo Directs as well. So we haven't really had a standard Nintendo Direct in a long time. And there's been some thought process out there that we might not get them. After all, Pikmin 3 Deluxe was just, you know, a social media announcement. People thought it went out to die. It's the best-selling Pikmin game of all time. Same thing with Super Mario Party. Uh, so Nintendo has proven they don't really need Nintendo Directs uh, to really get anything going uh, with the company. And when you're talking about third-party Nintendo Directs, I mean... You don't really need Nintendo's involvement too much beyond maybe some editing to put it all together. Those partner showcases, it's mostly just going to be stuff provided by the third-party people. But Nintendo is hiring an associate AV producer, and this could be for many reasons, right? You could you could be talking about live streams. Uh, you could just be talking about you know creating trailers and all that jazz. But in here is some interesting words. So let's get down into the description of duties and uh, and then the summary requirements. Because, heck, maybe you want to apply for this position. So it says, produces all video assets required to merchandise game launches on Nintendo-owned e-commerce channels, but not limited to the Nintendo eShop. So, basically, game trailers. All right. I mean, that's expected. Uh, collaborate with internal teams and external agency partners to develop creative concepts, storyboards, and scripts for promotional trailers. Okay, again. Just working on trailers and stuff like that makes a lot of sense. TV commercials works with internal teams to select final footage and decide final edit of game footage segments for all television commercials. Okay, you know that's that's pretty standard. Collaborating uh, with retail marketing to create still slash video game based content for in store retail interactives, pop and retailer websites. Collaborate with live services staff to produce all game footage and video assets required for websites and microsites. Again. This is stuff that you would expect. Uh, this is stuff they still do. Coordinate with global content production teams on the timing, viability, and localization of marketing assets from a global perspective. Collaborate with strategic communications uh, and social media teams to develop content and assets for discrete targeted audiences and unique social media platforms. Works with outside vendors to source music and voice talent for use in high-end video production. Uh, directs and participates in gameplay footage, capture sessions to generate game assets necessary for game and marketing content production, work with internal design staff to produce screenshots for product packaging, digital manuals, and promotional inserts, produces content for native use on mobile and smart device distribution platforms, collaborate with product marketing staff to brainstorm creative ideas in support of the product launch and product initiatives, maintain a high level of knowledge of and familiarity with new video production trends, technology, equipment, and software distribution channels, may assist with filming live action footage for use in Nintendo Directs and other content marketing initiatives. So, we're going to stop there. You can go ahead and read the rest. I'm going to leave it on screen. They are hiring someone who might be assisting in producing live action segments of Nintendo Directs. That suggests Nintendo Directs are not dead. Folks, Nintendo is still hiring people to do Nintendo Direct related work. Now, if you're wondering what the requirements are for this position, it's right there on screen. It says four years of related experience focused on editing market trailers and presentations, TV commercials, web content, etc. Ability to use and convert multiple media formats and codecs, be able to perform basic audio mixing and sweetening for video production, strong experience with nonlinear audio slash video editing programs and graphic design programs, Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, Final Cut, Adobe Illustrator, ability to work with basic motion graphics and animation experience with Cinema 4D, familiarity with media file types, etc., etc., etc. It's right there on screen for you guys. If you're interested in this position, I'll put a link down in the description for you to apply for it if you're someone uh, interested. I have no idea what they pay. 
you know, that's something you find out through the interview process. Um, but yeah, Nintendo is hiring someone to do Nintendo direct related work among a whole bunch of other stuff. This is just wholly fascinating to me. The hope for Nintendo directs in the future is not dead. That's the takeaway here, folks. Nintendo directs not dead. Give me your thoughts down in the comments. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoy this video, that's great. Uh, hit that little subscribe button. Hit the bell as well uh, so you can get notified of all future videos and live streams. All right, folks, I will catch you guys in the next video.